Hey, this is Reggie with Vista Social. This video is focused on helping you schedule a lot of content at the same time, all in one go. And this is going to be using our bulk publishing features. Let's head over to the publish menu. We'll go to bulk publishing. There are six, really six ways of bulk scheduling within the platform. We're gonna focus in this video on the CSV import as well as the import images and videos. Two different ways. Let's start with the CSV. Now you may be familiar in the past, you may have used a spreadsheet to build out your calendar or your future scheduled posts. You can download a sample right here and I'll pull that up for you. Now the sample file will have a few different headers. So for example, this would be where you add the message, right? Or the copy of the post, the type. So this might be an image post, a video post. This might be an article that you're sharing, right? A link. And then you would add here a link to the media. For example, if you're doing an image post, a video post, you'll add a link to that file, to that image file, to that video file. Now it's important that this image or this video is under a publicly accessible link. And what that means is that link should not be password protected, shouldn't require any permissions. If you were to open up this link on anyone's computer, you'll be able to access that image and video file. So make sure that that's properly set up. Now this link would also be, if you're sharing an article, it would be the article that you're trying to share. And then lastly here, this column would be the time. When should this post be going out? Now is an option, right? If you want this post to go out immediately, you can set up the date, time, the hour, all of that there. You can also utilize the posting queue. Now, when you're all ready to go with that spreadsheet, make sure you download it as a CSV and upload it right here to Vista Social. When you upload it, you'll see something like this. Each individual row will show up as a separate post. Let's just say an example here, this is an image post to publish now from that sample file. You'll see that we've actually downloaded the image from the spreadsheet. We've added the date and time and the message content from that spreadsheet as well. When you're ready to go, just make sure you've selected the right profiles here to publish to and that you've selected either all of the posts or whichever post you do want to publish and click next. From here, it's just going to remind you and let you know, hey, you're about to schedule seven posts to two different social profiles. Just go ahead and confirm that if you're ready to go and they'll get added to your calendar. Now let's take a look at another bulk publishing feature. From here, we'll go back to the bulk publishing menu and we'll use the import images and videos. The difference with this feature is instead of uploading a spreadsheet to your account and then having us download each one of those images and associate the times, you're actually just gonna be dropping in your media and each one of these items will create a post. So what I'll do is I'll just drag in a couple of images from my computer, upload these here to Vista Social, and what you'll see is happening here is that each photo or each video will actually generate a separate post. I can see here that the, by default, they're utilizing our posting queue or publishing queue for these profiles. I can click in one of these, and let me just make sure I'm publishing, in this case, to maybe Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I can click in one of these and start modifying my content. Now, if you need to make any changes or modifications, you can do that on the preview side, whether for Instagram, Facebook, or whichever network, get those settings set up like you wanted to and save those changes. And you can go down the line and modify each one of those images that basically created its own separate post. When you're ready to go, again, just make sure you've selected the right social profiles in the filter that the posts are actually selected as well. And you'll just click next. It'll tell you one more time, hey, you're about to schedule five different posts to these many profiles and then you can go ahead and confirm. And again, those will be added to your calendar. So these are a couple of the different ways that you can schedule a lot of content in one go. A lot of these features are around saving you time so you're not manually creating these posts one by one. If you have any questions or have any thoughts, make sure to reach out to our support team.